right guys here we go this is it river town in anio california today will be the first day for my um, store opening soft opening just to make it clear uh, this is not final everything is still um, trial and error so me and my partner will be at the store early so we can make sure everything is um, ready to go and um, hope everything goes well and uh, wish us luck guys thank you and uh, we'll see you the we'll show you the, the updates later on depending on the progress or depending on how busy we are so second street g street is our store right there the aquarium and that's our buddy manuel what's up yo i got you brother here is the huge parking lot right behind our store this is a city parking free no charge you don't need to pay anything and you just need to walk from that parking not even a block away it's like Three minutes walk you'll get here third street g street then you turn left this will be our store here we go as soon as you go inside the store you will see a huge banner for the products that we carry in this local fish store before the soft opening, we made sure that uh, we arranged everything before we opened the door for our customers. Finalizing everything, filling up tanks, and double checking prices. Before we go to the soft opening of our store, I would like to invite you. Um, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and notification bell. So you will get notified every time I upload my new video. So one week before my soft opening, we ordered some fish, hardscape, dry food, frozen food from our supplier. And we want to make sure that we have at least five days to quarantine the fish. And in this second clip, I'm going to show you the unboxing video of the fish that we order from our wholesaler. Uh oh, upside down. This guy grows huge. 
drum master. Here are some German blue hands. Honestly guys, we order a lot of fish and instead of, you know, opening the bag one by one, I'm going to do it myself without involving you guys. So basically what I'm looking for is the fish needs to be healthy. So instead of um, unboxing or, you know, checking the bag one by one and showing it to you, I'm going to do the, the proper procedure of acclimating fish by myself. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. After we unbag the fish, we are preparing the tanks for the new arrivals and make sure it's safe for the fish. All the tanks that we use in this um, soft opening of the store are brand new. So we use the Aqua Safe and a back to splash from Bubbles and Troubles and that will help us recycle the tank even quicker. So in the next video, I'm going to show you different types of food that we carry in the store. And I hope this will give you an idea. If you have something else that um, you need, then feel free to stop by and I uh, will be more than happy to sell you things. For the outage of live black worms, this will be the remedy. It's the gel type blood worms from Bubbles and Troubles. And on the next video, I'm going to show you the aquarium solution or medication that we carry in this store and also i want to brag about aquarium co-op um, i want to make sure everyone is aware that uh, we are partnered with aquarium co-op and the prices are based on their website so stop by pick up some aquarium co-op items and thank you so much for helping small business and after a couple of hours of preparation in the morning, we are now ready to open the door to the public. Shout out for those who wait outside the fish store. Um, some of them is uh, Jessica, Amanda, and there are some other uh, folks who wait at least 30 minutes outside the store for us to open. And we appreciate you guys supporting local business like us. I will show a couple more video clips that I took from that day of the opening. And if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Um, I hope you guys like the outcome of changing Fantastic to JJ Aquarium. This will be only a soft opening and there's some more changes that will be done before the grand opening of our store. So for now, enjoy watching.
While I'm editing this video, I noticed that the customers who support us during the soft opening are not only from Antioch itself. I seen a lot of people coming in from Bay Area Group, from San Francisco Group, from Beta Aquarium Society, and most especially from Sacramento Aquarium Society. I am very thankful for the support for those who drove at least 30 minutes or maybe more than an hour to get into the store just to support local businesses and especially local breeders like me and John. Um, we start as a local breeder from our garage, from our fish room and um, we hear that the fantastic is going away. So. Me and him talk about it, um, we decided to take over the Fantastic because we don't want to lose a fish store in my area because we only have one. If you made it this far in this video, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and notification bell so you will get notified every time I upload my new video. Before we keep going, I want to say special thanks to our family and friends that show their support and love. Uh, that means a lot to us. And um, we are still far away from grand opening, but you guys are there to support our journey. Uh, like I said on my previous video, having a fish room and breeding fish, that's you know very common to us, that's very easy, but Having a fish store is a different ball game, so we definitely need a lot of support and love from our relatives, from our family, from our friends. So thank you so much and we really appreciate it. One thing that I would like to mention in this video that um, our store have primary supplier or a wholesaler, but me and John are local breeders. So we encourage local fish breeder, freshwater fish breeder to give us a call, contact us, let us know if you would like to make business with us. We um, we would like to help local hobbyists in the area to you know make money as well, not just us as a store, also the serious breeder or people that are having fun um, breeding fish or keeping fish tanks. I know that this hobby can be expensive, especially if you made it more than 5 tanks as of the moment and I know it's gonna be even more later on because that's where I start and um, this is a good way to sustain or to you know provide an income from the hobby or to cycle the money uh, that's what I do before, I breed fish, I sell it and I don't use my pocket money anymore I'm only using the fish money so this is a good start um, if you would like to buy some food or upgrade some tanks this is a good way for you to start and before this video ends I would like to invite everyone to our grand opening that will be on March 11 we are going to have um, visitor from aquarium co-op we are also hosting 
the meeting for the Bay Area group where we're gonna have a live auction at the back alley of our store. We will post the updates in our Facebook and Instagram. If you enjoy this video or if you would like to see more, feel free to comment down below and I will be more than happy to create another video for you or for specific fish that you would like to see. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you on my next video.